boss. Okay. I see him! Jail Fisk's men are awfully loyal. My part to make it extinct. Bad haircut, excessive cologne. Yep, more fist goons. Knock him off. Everything's quiet here now, Captain. Great. That's one more revenue stream Wilson Fisk can't use to pay his lawyers.
break-in is reportedly in progress. Nearby officers, please proceed to the Bryant area. Expressway near Atlantic Avenue, please respond. to wash this gym shirt six years ago. Pay you. All units, armed robbery reported. Please respond. Location is... Guys, guys! Guns to the face is not proper consumer etiquette! Gotta be a special kind of crazy to rob a storefront in the city swipe. Your man protects. Thanks. The police will take it from here.
nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. Sit tight, guys. A nice, comfy paddy wagon will be here soon. Before you go, can you, can you sign this for my kid? Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Gotcha! Now let's talk! I said I don't Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move! I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Is that enough? Move, move!
Herman? You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good... Time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in dark history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Once again, defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald's Mac Gargan, a.k.a. The Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attack. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Hey, kid. How's all the science stuff going? Not bad, thanks. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Even more explosions and a barrage of gunfire coming from inside the building after Spider-Man and the NYPD had moved in, which lasted much longer than police had hoped. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here.
Aha. I'm on a roll now. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. This one, I have never had a problem. There's always someone looking out for us. Looks like May's not in yet. Miss you. Man, was I ever a dork. Well, we all have an awkward face. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Wish May would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. So, I got the job. May's recommendation. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? <sighs> I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. I could afford an electric wheelchair. 